there, there might not have been something as global and pandemic as this in rugby league's history, but thinking back to things like the minor strikes, for example, has there ever been a time where rugby league's been disrupted by something either global or, or local? Yes, the uh, thing that springs to mind really, uh, just, just before I, I signed up at Wakefield in 65, well, 1963, the big freeze. Right. I mean, there were games off for three months. Really? It would no. just. What was it? Big freeze. It was cold, obviously. Snow. <laughs> well, snow, <laughs> but snow were just. Yeah, 1963, big freeze, snow. All the games were cancelled for three months. What? Three months. It snowed um, for three months? Three months. Three months from, from December, January, February, starting the beginning of March. Yes. Yeah. And then to get through all them games that they'd missed, and they were all. And they're working at Pitt and wherever. And whatever they want full time, so they're having to play two and three games a week to get season done. Yeah. And then Wembley, obviously, that was the the, the pinnacle in yeah. in May, so that had all to come in. So yeah, that that's that happened in in '63. If you if you look back, yep. That'll tell you all all thing. And, and do a do a team. I mean Leeds. To be fair, Leeds had underground eating, so they they could play the home games. They got them, you know, because underground eating. There were, there were clubs like Witness and Cast trying all sorts of oil and stuff on field. <laughs> <laughs> the men are eight metre pitch, the men are eight tours at pitch, bold pitches, because they're trying to, get, trying to get them on and coming up with ideas, whatever. But yeah, that's. That was, that's obviously it's not a virus, but it it was it was cold winter. 